Too much of anything is a bad thing. Life without balance results in an unbalanced life. Walking around the block every day is good. Walking or running six hours a day is bad. It's obsessive. Unless, of course, you make your living as a marathon runner. Then you're doing your job. Eating an apple a day is good. Eating only apples is bad. You won't get all the protein and vitamins and nutrients your body needs. Working hard, burning the midnight oil, doing it until is good. Working nonstop, never taking a vacation, never having any fun, never spending quality time with the people you love, working, working, working day after day, month after month, never taking a break year after year is bad. If you've got your nose to the grindstone all the time, how are you ever going to spot new opportunities, consider new ideas? It doesn't work that way. You've got to stop and ponder where you've been and where you're going. You've got to reflect so you know if you're even on the right track. Everyone has heard the story of Willie Lohman in the play Death of a Salesman. Willie was a workaholic. He typified the old-fashioned concept of success. After all, if you're always working, you must be successful. No, it doesn't work that way. For workaholics, there's never enough work. They can work 10, 12, 14 hours a day, take two jobs, work them back to back. The only satisfaction is fighting off sleep, denying life's pleasures, getting more tasks done. Some people are impressed with this type of behavior. But just because a workaholic spends too much time working, that doesn't mean he or she ends up with the most money. These people are generally more task-oriented than results-oriented. They're busy being busy not busy being productive. Workaholics generally end up alienating their families, losing their health, facing a crisis of values. Now, wouldn't you prefer a life of productivity rather than a life of tasks? Of course. When you schedule your time and take advantage of your time, you can work smarter instead of working longer, and you'll probably end up getting more done than the workaholic and still have time for other things in life. Enlightened self-interest says, I will look for new ways to work smarter by focusing on doing more per hour instead of doing more hours. It says I will run my day so my day doesn't run me. Enlightened self-interest also says that a life worth living comes from a life of balance and moderation. Too much of anything, even good things, will sooner or later throw you off track. Now, here's the key technique that you can use in your life to help keep you on the right track. This technique is called visual chain thinking. Ambitious people don't see each step toward their goals as a singular step, each discipline as a singular discipline, each project as a singular project, each sale as a singular sale. With everything they do and with every discipline they adhere to, they see it all as part of a chain a link in the chain of events and actions that will lead them to their final destination. Every action and every discipline today is a link in the chain. Every action and every discipline tomorrow is a link. Every action and every discipline in the future is a link. When you can see that every link in the chain will eventually lead you to the things you want most out of life, to the person you want to become, then you won't grow discouraged or fearful or impatient with today. When you can see where you're going through visual chain thinking, even on the toughest days, you'll keep building your ambition by knowing where you're going, not just where you are today. Part of this visual chain thinking is built when you decide on your direction, when you can see where you're going to end up before you get there, when you can see California while staring at the east side of a 14,000-foot mountain. And building your visual chain of thought begins when you have well-defined plans for your career, your family activities, your investments, and your health. Your plans and goals are your visual chain, knowing where you're going before you get there. 